<laughs> that was a really dumb screw up. If we blow up another pump, I think I might just quit farming. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's day two of corn planting. I'm actually going to go plant some beans because, as you saw, we're having some trouble with the corn planter. Dad had to go pick up some parts. We actually rebuilt that pump last night. The uh, guy that works at the parts store brought an, a new impeller and seal kit home for us. We rebuilt it, we tried a little bit, and then we had a uh, elbow hose barb fitting that was just leaking all over the place. We think we might have scarred it when we cut the hose off, and then now we can't get it to seal. So, Dad's picking up those parts. He's gonna come back. I'm gonna get this air seeder fired up. Got a little bit of maintenance to do to it, and we'll move it over to the next field. Maybe plant a little bit, and he's supposed to pick me up on his way back, so. Okay, started the tractor so it could warm up. I don't know if you remember last year, but I broke these shear bolts on this marker arm, so I just have this tied up, and I never got around to fixing it because, well, I don't ever hardly use my markers, so I wasn't too worried about it. That being said, I guess the reason why I don't, I don't use my markers is most everything's no-till, and I have corn stalks to follow from the previous year, but the last field that we have to plant which I won't be planning today, it'll probably be tomorrow, but it's gonna be worked ground. So it'd be nice to have some markers and I don't have any guidance lines set up for that farm yet. So markers would be handy. I think what I need to do is untie this and unfold the marker because the bolts gotta go through here. Unless I put them the other way. No, they gotta go that way. So let's see if we can get this marker unfolded. Okay, I think my markers are on number two. enough the way these markers work you kind of got to be moving for them to fold out all the way but this should work for what I got to do grab my tools and my bolts get that fixed pretty simple shove the bolt in tighten it up two five sixteenths bolts doesn't seem like enough to hold that that's a lot of pry because it pivots back here but uh, I guess it's designed to break, so. Oh well, I got extras now. All right, let's head to the next field. I like to run my blower when I go down the road because the uh, seeds will bounce out as you go through the road or go down the road and it'll fill those little Venturi cups. And then when you get to the field, they'll be blocked up because I can't shove that big wad of beans through, so. I like to run it that way if there's any bounce, that bounce out, they just blow right out and then you don't have to worry about it. And we made it to the field. I gotta adjust my hydraulic pressure on my blower. It's a little low. It seems like as the oil warms up, you get more pressure out of it. So you kinda gotta keep turning it down throughout the day. And then the next day when you start, a little low so all right change field over this one is mine the farm is called well it's pits and then oh maybe not madeline's there we go madeline's climate set up yep there we go select the field Madeline's. There we go. Confirm. It's a 153 acre farm, but I'm only planting half of it in beans, so about 75 ish acres. Do I have a line? Um, I do not. So, I'm just going to have to drive this border. Not a big deal. Get out here and see how deep I'm planting. I should have shut that noisy thing off. It's kind of hard to find the seed behind this air seeder. It doesn't make a nice pretty V like a planter does. So kind of got to dig for a while and just figure out where you're at. Well, where is it at? 
surely it's not that deep. There they are. Ooh, that's about an inch and three quarters. That's a little too deep for here. I had to put it in the ground at the last farm I was at. That was some pretty heavy ground and it was like concrete. So I'm gonna raise it back up, not plant quite so deep. That's all you do. Just gotta go along and do every one. You're probably wondering why it's so green out in this field. These are not weeds. This is cover crop rye. This farm is in an equip program, so we get paid to plant uh, cover crops on this. We've got 60 pounds of cereal rye that we broadcast out here last fall. We broadcast it and didn't incorporate it at all. So I'm really impressed with the stand we got out here. I was, I was kind of up in the air on whether I was gonna terminate it before I planted or just plant green, but it's been so cold that it hasn't been warm enough to spray it and actually kill it. So we just decided to plant green, so. See how that goes. Well, Dad came and picked me up. He uh, got the parts. We're back here at the planter. So what we got going on is we, we rebuilt the pump, put a new impeller in it. Now this is leaking right here. So we had to cut this hose off a couple times, and I think we scarred the hose barb, like I was saying. So it's just spraying out of there. So he got some parts. Talked about changing that to one inch line, but I don't know what he ended up getting. So I guess we'll find out. We got that all back together. Dad decided to replace it with one inch line. We also put a screen in here because when that impeller blew up the first time, we were concerned that it sent pieces through the system. I don't think it did, but now if it happens again, we know for sure the screen will catch them. So, we're about ready to try this again. Well, I think it's time to try this thing out again. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a nozzle flow check, make sure we got decent pressure. We got uh, two sets of gauges there. Front set is our starter. The back set is for that bandit system. Um, okay, what do I do? Brake controller. Setup. System. Nope. Diagnostics. Tests. There we go. Nozzle flow check. I want to go 5.5 miles per hour. Rate 10. And shoot, I got to change that mercury switch on the planner otherwise it won't let me there's a mercury switch on the planner that uh, when you put it in the ground it tells the liquid system to turn on and to do that check what do we got oh, that's weird anyways I got to turn this to basically fool it to think the planners in the ground I gotta figure out what to do. Huh. Okay, so there's a broken airline on the uh, for the air clutches. Should be a pretty easy fix. Um, I'm just gonna shut that system off for now because we're sitting over a spot that's already been planted, so it's telling those clutches to engage. So turn off swap control. Did that do it? Yep. Okay. Nozzle flow check. Turn my pumps on. What? Okay. I think that screen's loose. Okay, let's try again. Ay, ay, ay. Pump again. It's running. Okay. Start. Solution pump dry. Um, I think we need more pressure. Try it again. Oop. 
we're like pegged out. So not really sure what that's all about. All right, we got our air leak fixed. We got our fertilizer leak fixed. I'm gonna try it. Wish me luck. Uh, auto steer on, master on. Shoot, I gotta move that mercury switch real quick. This guy needs to be on. Um, yeah. Pump, Vax, other pump. Make sure we got stuff happening. Population 29.5. I mean, 29.5 is low, but why is it saying row failure? Okay, I got good news and bad news. So, those meters that we put on have to use a different rate chart. So, we were still setting it based off our old E set meters. The V set meters have a smaller disc, so not as many seeds per rotation. So it was only planting 29,000. We're shooting for 30, 32, 7, 33, 5, something like that is what the setting we have on. So he's going to send me, our precision guy is going to send me an updated rate chart. That should take care of that. Um, this is not working. I'm only getting four gallons out of it. I'm thinking we have an orifice problem. Also, my gauges are not moving at all, but the balls are up. So I'm wondering if it's putting out. I guess, why would the gauges not move, but the balls would be up? I'm confused. So, it seems like the planner is working once we get the rate chart figured out. This is working. This is my issue. So this was a relatively easy fix. This planner is still ground driven. This is your transmission. So you just fold this back and hook it with that thing. Get that back out of the way. And then you slide your sprockets around to give you different speeds. Um, I still gotta hook this guy back up over here. So yeah, you can uh, pull these little rubber dealios out and slide these sprockets around and it gives you a whole bunch of different combinations. So he sent me the rate chart, got that figured out, put it inside now. The uh, 
Bandits look like they're putting out more than four gallons, but it's only reading four gallons in the cab, so I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so here's where we're at. Dad made some phone calls. We had the flow meter set up for pulses per gallon. Wait, we had it set up for pulses per 10 gallon instead of one gallon. So it was trying to put 10 times the product out, but we didn't need that much product. So we noticed it was just blowing product out all the seals everywhere. So it was just, had the pressure jacked way high trying to get as much as it could, but the orifices would only allow so much. So hopefully that fixes our problem and we can uh, get this thing going. All right, we're gonna try it again, see what happens. Forgot to hit record. Okay, I think the liquid's working. Now I'm only planting 13,000 seeds per acre and I want 32,000. So, what is going on? Yep, I know what I did. I'm an idiot. I did it backwards. I put the drive sprocket on the driven and the driven on the drive. So, let's go fix that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Impeller's not in a million pieces like it was yesterday, but it doesn't look good. Not really sure what's going on. We end up taking the whole pump off the planter. Dad is gonna take it back to where we bought it and uh, just see if they can look at it and tell us why we keep blowing the pump up. I don't know if they sold us a bad pump or if we're doing something wrong. We just can't figure it out. We're thinking maybe we're over speeding it, but like, we're used to a high pro pump, which is our other one, and we got it kind of set the same way we always set that one. We're thinking maybe this one just is a little bit different. This is an ace pump that we've got on there, so I don't know. We can't figure it out. I'm gonna go plant some beans because that's something that has been working and I know I can actually get some beans planted, so that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta say, this is much more relaxing. The air seeder is so simple, you just put seed in it and it blows it out through tubes into the ground. It's so simple compared to the planter, but soybeans are okay with simplicity. Corn is not, so I guess we gotta fight it. For now, I'll just enjoy this relaxing soybean planting time. Well, I'm out of seed. I'm gonna fill up here and I don't know if I'll have enough beans to finish this. Is 
I'm a little bit too close. Ah, crap. That's corn. I opened the wrong box. Shoot! Okay, I'm gonna have to get that out of there. Well, shoot. Ah, that was a really dumb screw up. I put corn on the seed tender with the beans because I only had one box of beans left and we're gonna need the corn after this anyway, but I guess that was a mistake. 2848. This is a bean box. This is the one I need. That's better. Gonna be a little bit of corn in there, but we spray for volunteer corn anyway, so it'll be alright. I got as much out as I could. Good thing seed cheap. Nope. So that's what 600 bucks looks like on the ground, in case you were wondering. I'm an idiot. Well, I'm over half done here. I got 44, almost 45 acres done. I think Dad should be about back by now. I'm gonna go help him, and I can come back and finish this tonight. So, not quite sure if I'm gonna have enough seed. We uh, get seed from a whole bunch of different people, and we got two boxes coming from one dealer, and we don't have them yet. And I might need a little bit of that to get this field finished up, but I'm not too concerned about it. We'll just uh, plan out what we got, and finish it tomorrow I guess well dad took the pump back and they completely rebuilt the whole thing so not really sure why that happened but we're gonna try it again I guess okay here we go again I did a nozzle flow check and I didn't like what I saw the gauges went up to 20 and then pegged out so I don't know what's going on with that if we blow up another pump I think I might just quit farming so no I'm not actually gonna quit but that's how frustrating this is. Anyways, let's see what we can come up with here. Dropping it in the ground. And we've got, okay, so it's doing stuff. The cages are pegged out and now it's coming back down. It's running about 10. It's saying 11, oh, we're at 10 gallons. Got about 10 psi of pressure. That is about right on the gauges. The rate is good. I don't know. I got corn. It's planted. 32,000. That's what we're shooting for. Well, fingers crossed. It's working for now. I don't want to speak too soon but I think everything's working. Knock on wood, I think everything's working. The whole, the whole precision screen is green, that's a good thing. We got 10 gallons per acre down here. We got five gallons per acre here. The climate's working. Uh, a little bit of a sigh of relief. Now let's see if Dad's brave enough to run this thing. That's why I'm in it. He was a little bit intimidated. I guess now that we're over half done with the field, we should get out and see how deep we're planting. Had so much stuff going on, I forgot to check that. It's kind of hard to find the furrow with those drag chains on there. You can't see the two little dimples where the uh, closing wheels ran. Where you at, seed? It's actually not too bad. About two inches, that's what we like to see. Sweet. Well, I think we're done for the day. Dad got in and ran it for a couple rounds, and uh, just so I could kind of show him some of the stuff on that Green Star rate controller. We're both new to that. I've never run one before, and he hasn't, so I want to show him. He's going to go out to eat with Mom because it's their anniversary. They've been married 33 years, I think. So, anyways, we got to do a little bit of adjusting our screen the way we had it mounted before. Hits this pile of cables when we fold it up so we're gonna have to move those around a little bit because we want to keep that screen there so if you do have to drain it it drains right on the ground so yeah that's gonna do it for this video I uh, think I'm gonna go finish planting beans over there that should be pretty uneventful and finally got the bugs worked out of this thing it's just been kind of a 
fight this whole time, the past two days. It's been pretty stressful. It's so nice to see that it's finally working. So anyways, day two of planting. We got 18 acres done, I think, 19 acres, something like that. Pretty happy to be, uh, to have that finally working. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.